In this video, I'm going to show you the six step process to improve your user experience. I'm Rachel Davis, the co-founder of Hurry, making marketing teams better with one platform. Today, you're going to learn the six most influential user experience steps to get your app or website converting more sales fast. Keep watching, but first, what is user experience? Or, as it is more commonly known as, UX. User experience is every aspect of the user's interaction with the product, service, or company that make up the user's perceptions of the brand as a whole. User experience design is concerned with all the elements that together make up that interface, including layout, visual design, text, brand, sound, and interaction, or, as Steve Jobs describes it, the fundamental soul of a man-made creation. Why is it so important? Well, things that may seem small to you, such as a slow loading image, can in fact lead to 39% of users exiting from that page. This is so important, as when it comes to optimizing for your mobile devices, Mobile users are five times more likely to abandon a task if your website is not suited to their device. And with two thirds of mobile users looking to make a purchase that day, you don't want them to leave your page over something you can easily fix. So, what are the six most important user experience factors? These are the factors that are part of the product development process and include more than just one team. But trust me, it's worth the effort. Let's start with step one, which is to understand the problem at hand. As with all design, UX design is there to solve a problem. But to solve the problem, you first need to understand exactly what it is. Your aim here is to understand the requirements, create user personas, and define your user's cases. This is highly important as it creates the foundations for your entire UX project. This stage should be based on research, including contextual and individual interviews, as well as behavioral analysis, based on what you can tell about your target segments. This is exactly what Josh Lewandowski, lead UX researcher at YouTube, tackles each and every day, researching the core questions like, what are the desires, needs, and problems our users have, and what should we be anticipating? And, once we know what those are, what's the best way to solve it for them? For him, this understanding phase includes everything from talking to users and watching them on YouTube in their homes, to carrying out lab studies to see if people use their product in the way that they expect them to. Step two. Research how people are already solving the problem. You want to end up with a lot of ideas and materials that will help you frame your overall design of the user experience. To do this, you want to understand the competition, but also get some inspiration from moving forward. While it is important to note key competitors in your space, it is also important to follow Google's rulebook that you no longer are competing with the best experience in your category, you are competing with the best experience a user has ever had. So it is important to get this right and continuously improve upon it. Step three is to sketch out what you have come up with from both a design and research phases. Coming up with the sketch phase will involve wireframes, mockups, and user flows. At first, this will be the best your knowledge based on your research. This will be the backbone to your end product, so it is worth spending the time on this phase. And the beauty of this is that you can constantly test and redraw, so you're always getting closer to your best version of your website or app. Step four is to start designing. Now that you've tested and retested your sketches, it is now time to put your money where your mouth is and start designing. Here, you will end up with design images have prototypes created and have an understanding of what your end user experience guidelines are for going forward and for the wider use of the company. While at each stage you need to seek the opinion of other departments for their expertise, it is here that you need to ensure you get hold of the design 
product, business and technical team. These guys will each bring different perspectives and help you bring your user approved sketches to reality. Step 5 is where you implement the designs and make them into your user focused masterpiece that you have desired. Finally, step 6, evaluate the whole project. It is at this stage you need to ask yourself, your team and your customers some key questions such as, is it usable? Is it easy to change? Does it solve the problem that you ultimately set out to solve? Essentially, this stage doesn't end. It simply brings you back to the starting point. Your user is constantly changing their mind and preferences and you should be accommodating them for that. So in summary, the six most influential user experience steps are to understand the scope of your project, to research how others are tackling the problem, to sketch out and test your wireframe, to design your interface based on what you've learned, implement your designs, and evaluate your project and final product for improvements. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, for more ways to better optimize your marketing, feel free to head to hurry.co and check out our resources page. They're all free. Finally, we would like to hear from you. Are you going to start putting these steps into place to improve your user experience? Or maybe you would like to share any of your own tips let us know by leaving a comment below. I'm into that user. F no. <laughs>